You know how stressful it is when guidance systems go down. You lose field time. You lose yield potential. You lose patience. Help is here. Raven Cruiser 2 RTK with Slingshot. Precision simplified. Learn more at ravensimple.com. Our Weed of the Week is giant foxtail. How can we identify this thing? You know what, Brand? Whenever you talk about the foxtail species, I, I say that to many farmers, and they say, oh, you mean pigeon grass. And they lump them all together. They say, oh, giant foxtail, yellow foxtail, green fox. I don't even know what the difference is. I just call them pigeon grass. I see them out in my field. They're annual grasses. And for the most part, similar products control all of them. Now, there are a few weaknesses here and there. But when it comes to giant foxtail, I'm typically looking at the upper side of the leaf blades. And you're going to see some hairs on there. And if you say, well, my eyes aren't that good anymore. Uh, how can I tell their hairs there? Just run your finger backwards down that leaf. So instead of running it up the blade, kind of run it backwards down yeah, the blade just, and you'll feel it kind of grab. Yeah, but with the giant foxtail, I like to call it hairy foxtail because it's got a lot of hair all over. Yellow foxtail just has long tufts of hair right at the base of the leaf blade. Green foxtail, you'll have hair just on the upper side of the leaf blade. But giant foxtail, you can have hair just about everywhere, up and down the stem and the leaves. All right, well, the good thing with foxtails is they're annual weeds, so we can typically control them fairly well. When we talk about corn, what are your best products? Well, I would start with something like Harness, Surpass, Outlook, or Dual Down. Post-emerge, Roundup is not having any issues with giant foxtail, so make sure Roundup is in the tank, or Liberty if you're planting Liberty crops. Okay, in soybeans, again, Roundup Pretty Soybeans and Liberty Link Soybeans offer you good post-emerge options with the Roundup and the Liberty. Maybe we should say though, with Roundup, it only takes a small amount of Roundup to control foxtail, giant foxtail. With Liberty, it definitely takes the full rate of Liberty. Well, Make sure it's, you're using it's a contact rate. killer. It doesn't have that systemic action that you're going to get out of the Roundup. Now, when we look at the other products out there, starting with a pre-emerge like a Trefland, Sunland, or Prowl works very well in soybeans. And post-emerge, all of those products that do a nice job on volunteer corn, like Select Max for example, we'll do a pretty good job on giant foxtail if you get it early. If you let this stuff get too big and tiller out, you're going to have a tough time getting it with those post-emerge volunteer corn grass killers. That's where Roundup and Liberty can really come in to help. Yep, in wheat our suggestion is put prepare down pre-emerge, then follow post-emerge with Axial, or you could use Discover, Puma, or some other grass killer in wheat. Well, giant foxtail is a big weed of the week, but you can get it under control on your farm. It's all time for this week's weed, but now Iron Talk is coming up next.